45, let's see if they stay, if they keep him in bounds. Yeah. Yes, yeah, clock's still running. Yeah, he could Minute do that. 49. Logan Reed on the play. Logan Reed with another tackle. He's had a nice game. Isaac Coleman on the tackle, according to Carl Nathy. <laughs> At the 45-yard line, give inside and running down to the 43-yard line. And that was going to be uh, Heighton, Jackson Heighton. So Raceland picked up the first down and have a minute 20 to go in the game. Race is going to lose this ball game, but they put up a better effort than the score shows. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think the final score is going to be an indication of how evenly matched these teams were. And the Flats and uh, Browning will be tackled at the 43-yard line. On the tackle, Brayton Hall. Brayton Hall on the stop. There's a player shaking up and I'm going to stop the clock with 61 seconds to go. And um, Freddie, good work with you on this yeah, LA game. absolutely. I always enjoy working with the legend, Gary Ball. Thank you very much, Freddie. And King of Stream here. Uh, King to, of Stream. to my left, we work all year on the Pratt Spin. And, uh, hey, listen. Nobody does it better than King of Stream. Let me tell you something. I think it's well documented that I, I don't do computer. I'm not a computer person, right? I figured out how to go to prep spin and buy the package for all the state championship games. Yeah. If I can do it, anybody can. Anybody can do it. Yeah. Well, I'm like you. I, know, I did it yesterday. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. I'm not much of a techie either. And, uh, Just go to prep spin, and it kind of walks you through it. Yeah. Well, I have the NFH, NF, NFHS network, so I can watch all the games too. Yeah. yeah. Broker Field, and we'll watch. Uh, but prep spin does a great job. Thank you for uh, supporting, supporting the, the, the student athletes in the state of Kentucky. Lundy, pump fakes, now rows to the right. He's going to tuck it. He's up to the 30, down to the 25, <laughs> and knocked out 20 yard. And let's see if the, uh, yeah, he's out of bounds at the 21. We talked about Lundy being like Will Levis in 2021. There you go. He runs the football and then tries to initiate contact. You can see from that shot right there. He's really put together. He's put it? together. Yes. I mean, he is a load, and he, he lowers his shoulder. He can inflict some uh, damage. Lundy gives now to Browning. Well, he says, block for me. At the uh, 15, he points to the block. and See how patient oh, he is? Yeah. I mean, I really like how he, some, you can get too fast when running the football, but but he is very patient and points out his blockers, and, and I like his game. Tackle by Stevens. And they, they call a timeout, I believe, but 34 seconds. Good for Raceland. I hope they punch it in here. <laughs> yeah, that's you right. Know, I really they want, do. They want to punch it in. Right? Yeah, yeah, they want to score here. Yeah. And, and, and that will be good for that team, that those fans that made the trip down here. Have you ever been to Raceland? Yes. Isn't it nice? The games are awesome there. Yeah, they have a good good, good fan base. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And a really good following. Yeah, I pulled up. The streets have, were brick brick streets on my way in there. It's beautiful. And then I was at Pint, uh, Pikeville, too. I love going to Pikeville. Uh, I've been to Pikeville this, many they, times. They, they, both schools take care of you. Yep. I mean, they are so organized with just their whole operation of game day. It really impressed me. The athletic athletic directors are just tremendous. And They've taken it to another level, yeah. believe me. Both, they, both both schools have. Yeah. yeah. And there's good tradition all over yeah. the state of Kentucky. Mayfield, as you said, great game day yes. This, uh, yes. festivities. And if, if, if you're on Twitter, if you don't follow Pikeville football, you're missing out. That's a... That's a creative Twitter account. I tell you, another great place to go, Belford. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a great place yes, to it go. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And our buddy's coaching down there. Yeah. We, we love him. Yes, Philip and Haywood. Philip Haywood, the legend. Love that guy. And uh, Hall of Famer. Does he still have uh, – who's, who's got the most wins now for Kentucky coaches? <sighs> it's got to be Haywood, right? Yeah, it's got to be. Here's a replay of the first play of the game. Yep. Bertrand went 85 yards untouched. And that set the tone. That was the first of three big plays in the first half that gave Pikeville 21 points. Second and six, 16-yard line. Lundy back to pass. 
And he throws it's going to be broken up. Back in the back of the end zone, broken up by young man who's had a super yes, game. Yes, he has. Deontay Stevens. Stevens. Yeah, Deontay Stevens has, has played really well. 6'1", 160-pound sophomore. Another sophomore for Bible. My goodness. Stops the clock with 28 seconds left. Third and six, Raceland. Third and six, 28 seconds. They're trying to punch one in here, folks. Be patient with us. Yeah. Because Raceland wants his touchdown. Yeah. But we're we're kind of hoping they get it. At the back is Lundy. Sets up a screen. And they drop the pass at the 15-yard yeah, line as Connor Hughes can't come up with it. Yeah, Lundy got pressured there. He was trying to find Hughes on a bubble screen. Threw the football off balance, and the ball tends to go high, and that's what it did. Coming up at 4 o'clock, it'll be Mayfield Beachwood with Steve Bertram on the uh, play-by-play. And then tonight, Dave Baker will give you folks the game between Corbin and Boyle. And I'll be back tomorrow for the uh, great game between Cal as they would take on Bartstown. Cal's got a really good team. So does Bartstown. Yes, both. That could go both really good teams. Here's Lundy to it's throw. Yeah, the and a high throw, and it can't be hauled in, but uh, Webb almost came up with it, yeah. passed on a little, little bit high. Yeah, Webb's played a fantastic game defensively. Uh, I really like, like his game. And Lundy tried to fit it in there on a deep crossing route, and it goes a little bit high and incomplete. Now, Pikeville will take a knee, and yep. a 1A champion will be crowned. The formation that is the best formation in football. The victory, victory formation, yes. Yeah, that's what we have, 18 seconds to go. And as I said, the uh, this is the class single A 2022 UK Healthcare Sports Medicine State Football Championship at Kroger Field. Nice crowd in here for this one. They didn't give us an official attendance, but very nice crowd. For I'm 1A. sure it was about yes. 30,000, wasn't it? <laughs> very, very nice crowd for 1A. And that's so, it. And takes a knee, and that's going to be it. And our star of the game is going to be three touchdowns, 200-plus yards, Blake Birchfield. Yes. Boy, what a game he what, had. What a game. What a game. What a career. And uh, Pikeville, what a year. Uh, you know, another season, another state championship. Yep. Yep. That's four for Coach McNamee. Yep. Uh, that's the most in program history. He was tied with Hillard Howard with three championships apiece as a coach. And now uh, McNamee has the most uh, state championships in Pikeville so history. Seven titles for Pikeville. Seven, seven championships. In the next game, Beachwood was 16 state championships. Yep.